Sixth Amendment, right to speedy, public, and impartial, not biased, trial by jury, witnesses, and counsel. What it says, in all criminal prosecutions, the accused shall enjoy the right to a speedy and public trial by an impartial jury of the state and district wherein the criminal, the crime, shall have been committed, which district shall have been previously ascertained by law, and to be informed of the nature and cause of the accused, to be confronted with the witnesses against him, to have compulsory process of obtaining witnesses in his favor, and to have the assistance of counsel for his defense. What it means. The Sixth Amendment outlines specific legal process that each citizen is guaranteed when they are charged with a criminal offense, including the right to counsel and the right to a speedy and public trial judged by an impartial jury of their peers, ratified or approved December 15, 1791. The Sixth Amendment has to do with the criminal prosecution. What rights someone has if they are accused of a crime? People can't be held in jail indefinitely and must be tried in public. People have the right to be tried in front of a jury. The right to confront accusers and witnesses establishes the practice of cross-examination. Without the Sixth Amendment, a witness could make a speech in front of a jury and the person accused of the crime wouldn't be able to ask any questions challenging that account of things. Criminal defendants also have the right to a lawyer. In a series of Supreme Court cases, starting with Powell v. Alabama in 1932, the right to an attorney was extended to include defendants unable to afford legal fees. However, some people believe that the inexperience and heavy, heavy caseloads of court-appointed attorneys put poor defendants at a critical disadvantage in court.